So now we know the meaning of moving average cost. And we know that the moving average cost of any unit of my inventory at any point of time equals the total stock value over the total stock quantity. And this is going to be the same for all the units I have. So for example, if today I'm going to buy 10 shares for 10 USD each, and next week I'm going to buy the same 10 shares but for 20 USD each, then the total stock value is going to be 300 USD, the total stock quantity is going to be 20 shares, and the moving average cost is going to be 15 USD per share. So as you see, moving average doesn't recognize the difference between the shares we buy at a cheap price and the other shares we buy for an expensive price because they are both the same shares, they both have the same material code, and they are both the same product exactly. Now, what if I want to recognize the difference between the shares I buy for 10 USD and the shares I buy for 20 USD? Then we have three methods. The first method is batch management. Batch management means that I'm physically going to separate the products in my warehouse. So I'm going to put on this side the 10 shares I purchased for 10 USD, and on this side, I'm going to put the shares I purchased for 20 USD. And when I sell some of these shares, my moving average cost and my stock value is going to decrease by 10 USD. And when I sell some of these shares, the stock value is going to decrease by 20 USD. Now, the other two methods are accounting adjustment methods, which are first in, first out, and last in, first out. And again, these are accounting adjustment methods. So they have no impact at all on how I'm going to treat my inventory physically. So in first in, first out, and last in, first out, we only adjust our accounting records so it can reflect the difference in cost between the different units we purchase. Now, in the coming videos, I'm going to go into more details about first in, first out, and last in, first out.